What's up YouTube and everyone else watching this video? Today I'm going to go over how I edit my Instagram stories and how many other people are making cool effects on their Instagram stories. Some tips, some tricks, some hacks for creators in 2019. If you're new to this video, please click subscribe down below if you like business tutorials right over the shoulder from experience if you're looking to grow a personal brand if you're looking to grow a business in general or if you're servicing clients this is all great information so click that subscribe button click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my weekly tutorials and my weekly videos now we're gonna jump into my phone so we could show you some of the tools we use to create some cool Instagram stories so the first thing I'm gonna go over right now is the unfold app and I'm also gonna link up here in this corner somewhere, somewhere on the screen, this other video tutorial I did on some apps, and one of them was Unfold, so you could also watch that, learn some tricks from there, but we're gonna go into it. Let me just click open Unfold. We are going to start a new story, name it, and now I'm gonna hit the plus button to add the canvas. The canvas I'm going to use right now I like to always switch it up but you see these are the canvases below that I'm scrolling through that you get to choose from you could create like a two type of photo or two type of video in there let's say we wanted to use this the first thing we would do is hit the plus box so that we can add a image or video and let's find an image to use we'll use that one select at the top right and then at the bottom we'll use another one how about this one there we go and we could zoom in on them by squeezing our fingers together in and out and it will zoom in the other one too if I wanted to zoom in I just click on it I could zoom in and you see so I could also move it around so now I have two images if you want like that again there's different canvases I could hit plus again Let's change the canvas. I use this one a lot too, where there's three sections. And you might see this sometimes on Instagram stories where they have three videos and you're wondering how they have a video and video a video. This is one of the apps that you could use. Again, it's Unfold, great app. I use it all the time. And again, I have other vid videos on this app so you can watch that as well. But we would just click and we could add any image we want in that top one. Let's hit select. And then let's say in the middle one we want to add a video. Let's create let's grab a video real quick. We will grab this video. Select. The videos take a little bit longer when you're loading them in. But don't worry, they will load. Okay, so there's that video right there in the middle now. And then I'll create the bottom one. I could put another video or I could put another image. Let's just put an image. We'll put this one. So this would be three images, three videos, an image in the middle. You could switch it up. And then this would just be playing after you download it and load it into your Instagram uh, stories. And how you download is that top right, that arrow up there, you just click that and it would download. You would just click save as story and you save it to your phone and then you could upload it onto your Instagram story. That's how I do it. Let me just go back. Let's create another layout. So let's say we were going to use uh, this one let me pick another image this one's funny and see I could zoom in move it around <laughs> like that and then if I wanted to I can also make it smaller and if I want to we can also if you click this bottom right symbol you can now you can add text let's say I wanted to add text right here uh, let's just write Instagram tutorial done right so you could adjust the text if I don't want the text anymore I just hit the X after you click on it that will go again if I want to get the options up again I can click that bottom right symbol I could change the background color to, you might have seen this before, to black or to white. If I clipped it on black, again, you could still zoom in and you could kind of create a border around it like that. And then you could still create text and you could put it above yourself. Let's create this again. And we will edit the text. And let's pick this font. 
Uh, you can make the size of the text different the sizes. Actually, we'll use this one. How about this? And again, we will do Instagram tutorial. You see, so you could add it like that. Again, you can just click edit text, the size, make it bigger, longer, and wider. That's what that does. A whole bunch of different things you can do. Center it, keep it to the left. Obviously, I usually keep it in the center. You can make it all caps. You can leave it like that. I think it looks good like that. But again, you more you mess with this app, it's called Unfold. There's so many different options that you could add different types of text, different types of layouts, multiple videos, multiple uh, images. And you know, if you're scrolling through, you'll see these different types of things. And every time you open up a new thing, you could add new text and add new images. So let's, let's just show you this. We'll add this one real quick. And I never even used this one before, so this is like a background image, and then you could put you know, some text over it. Again, then you would just click the download on the top right, that little arrow pointing down, and you save it. That's it, it's on your phone, you would upload that to your Instagram story. Now I'm gonna go into another app, which is called InShot, I also use this one, InShot. We'll go into video, let me just pick a video. Here's a video from a podcast I was doing. Again, we pick Canvas, and you'll notice the different canvases. If I was gonna use this as a square image, and again, I have a video on this in shot as a tutorial, and I'll link that up here as well. I could use this as just an Instagram square post or a Facebook square post. I could use this app to make those cool square videos. But since we're looking to do Instagram stories, what we want to pick down here, as you'll see, the 916, then it elongates it. This is what we want for the story. And I can move this video around if I want. Same thing, I could really zoom in so that it takes up the whole thing. And if I wanted the video to be just on me, I could just zoom just on me and move it around, right? Because a story, maybe sometimes you see, how is this video taking up the whole thing? That's how they're doing it. They're able to use this app and kind of zoom in so that just the video is on them. Again, a lot of cool things. You mess around with the app. It's called InShot. And let's say I liked how that looked right there. Well, we'll leave it on him. I would click the check button. And then at the top of the right, you'll see a square download box with an arrow pointing up. You would just click that, and then I would click save, and it would save this down onto my phone. I'd go into my Instagram stories and be able to add that as well. I'm gonna show you some other cool things, though, in this InShot app. You could also go over to uh, stickers, and you could add some like movable stickers. So let me just scroll through here. Let's say I just wanted to put this arrow right here and I just click the check and now that's gonna actually play on that video in that area and it's actually gonna move when you hit play when you hit play it's actually gonna move the arrow move so it's pretty cool how this uh, app works then yeah there's a whole bunch of different types of stickers you can add you just hit plus you could also just add regular stickers like the ones from your phone like that 100 put there Boom. And again, I have a video on how to actually use this and adjust things, so I'm gonna link that up here and also down below, because this InShot app, there's a lot you can do and adjust, so I'll definitely leave that video down in the description below, but just know that so far we went over Unfold, we're going over InShot, you could use that app, and then I'm gonna show you something cool that you could actually do actually right in Instagram that many people don't know you can do. Also on InShot, you could use it for collages, so you could just pick out a whole bunch of photos that you wanna use. This one and this one. Let's pick five and this one. I'm gonna click check and I'll go over back to Canvas and I'll pick 916 and you'll see it kind of puts it into a collage for you and again you could adjust different pictures how big you want them right but I like how it just lays it out in a collage you could do that you have different types of layouts again for Instagram stories we want 916 and you can mess around with this so that's like a collage 
Some people like though the collage where it's stacking over each other and I'm gonna show you how to actually do that right inside Instagram. So let's go into my Instagram. So I'm gonna show you this by actually using my phone. What you wanna do is go over to Instagram once you're on your Instagram, go to add a story, then you wanna click your images. The first thing you wanna do is pick your background right here. I'm using this gray stone. I get my backgrounds for free on Pexels or Pixabay. So let me just adjust this ring light so you're not seeing too much of that glare. I see that you guys are seeing that. Okay, so then what we wanna do is, we're not gonna do anything from here, we're just gonna swipe out of this real quick. We're gonna go over to our photos. Our photos are this way, right to our photos, and we're gonna start picking the photos we want for a collage. So if I'm gonna pick this one, what we're gonna do is once it opens here, you see this download button to the bottom left? Click on that. Once this opens, the key here is to click copy, bottom left. We're gonna click copy. Once we click copy, we wanna get out of this. We wanna swipe back over to Instagram and watch what happens. It's gonna pop up, see ad sticker? We don't have a lot of time, so we wanna click on that. Now we're gonna, we're gonna adjust this. We're able to move this any way we want, just like that. Let's say I'm gonna add that one there. And then what we'll do next is we're gonna swipe back up out of this, go back to photos, and let's pick our next photo we wanna use. Let's say I'm gonna use that one. Okay, I'm gonna click this bottom left download again. Remember, copy, swipe out of it, swipe back over to Instagram, boom, it adds as a sticker, add sticker, click on it. Let's put this one this way. And we can move them around. And same thing, swipe out of this. Let's go back to photos. Let's add another photo. Let's say we wanna do this one. Bottom left again, copy, swipe out, get back over to Instagram, add sticker. There's another one. Put that one straight. Could go in here and now add, you know, emojis if you want to add this here. <laughs> um, if we wanted to add text, let's say we're gonna put YouTube tutorial and now if we wanted to make that gradient effect some people you might see that gradient effect so on the text what we do is so you want to select all once you highlight it you want to hold that bottom blue dot and at the same time pick the color you want I'm gonna go orange and how we're gonna create that gradient is I'm gonna go up slowly with my bottom thumb on the orange as it's getting lighter and I'm gonna to move to the left 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 and now it's going to be in that gradient rainbow type of layout. So it gets a different kind of feel. And I'll put that right up here so you can see it. See how that gradient feel? And that's because I was going up with the color of my thumb and moving left. It's a little tricky when you first start doing it. Hope you could see that. And boom, now that's like a collage. So that's a cool little uh, story hack. But again, I really like the Unfold app and the InShot app. They they're very similar. Unfold is definitely really good for stacking videos and making like collage videos and stuff that's really cool. And you can also add text as well. And then the InShot's really good because you can add a lot of different types of emojis and different types of just collages you can make in there as well. So definitely mess with both of those apps. And then the trick I just showed you inside of Instagram is just a way that you could just quickly add and stack around I know people are always trying to figure out how are they stacking images. I know it was a question for me as well in the beginning, and then I found out that little hack after watching videos of, okay, we're able to just click and copy our photos and it will automatically pop up. You just gotta be quick and just click it as a sticker and you can just stack and make your own collages. So those are just three simple, easy hacks and tricks that how I edit my Instagram stories. If you have any questions at all, please put them down below. Again, I'm leaving some videos that I linked up here and also down below that really goes into the apps even more detailed so that you could see how you could use them. But the more you use them, the more you're going to learn. That's how it is. The more you're doing something, the more you're in them, the more you're going to learn. And you're gonna see that it's pretty cool, the apps. They actually do some really great things that Instagram itself, the app, cannot do. So that's a great little hack that you'll have with those apps that you can really stand out with your Instagram stories. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you know other people that would like this type of content, 
please share it. Share it on your Facebook, share it to others, and like it, leave a comment, ask any question, and I will see you in my next video.